Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts back once again to the reaction for guys. Take guys, of course, we are continuing the Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes. This is Season 2, Episode 18, entitled Yellow Jacket. Obviously with that title, we know who that's referencing. But uh, apparently there was a little bit of confusion. Also, by the way, apologies for this light, this glare. Um, the sun's trying to come in. I'm trying to steer clear as much as I can, but unfortunately... I have to record this now, so I'm trying to stay away. But anyways, apologies. Yellow Jacket, so we know who that's referring to. But there's some confusion in terms of people commenting on my most recent reactions to the YouTube uploads of these videos. So, of course, I'm two weeks ahead on Patreon. And people bringing up that the Powerless episode, which is episode 26 at the end of season two on Disney+, Plus, never aired, apparently. And uh, it was available, I think, on like DVD or home release or whatever when it came out. And uh, it never aired, apparently. I'm not really sure on that, but uh, they're saying it did. And they're also saying that this is episode 18. And that really, like, the timeline wise, I don't know. Maybe it, I mean, it's so standalone ish that unless there's something major that is referenced later on in these episodes, then I have no idea where it actually lands. So I'm sticking with it, okay? This is episode 18 to me, Yellow Jacket. Everyone's saying that after the Vision episode, watch uh, Powerless, and then you continue on, and the numbers or whatever are up ahead. Because on Disney Plus, episode 17, Yellow Jacket, it's actually episode 18. I'm just sticking with that, so apologies to anybody that's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I, I, this is really confusing. I have no idea. But um, so Ultron Unlimited, the last episode was really crazy. I, I don't think Ultron's fully gone, but I don't think we'll ever see him again, unfortunately, due to the show being canceled. We're, all, we're down to the wire. We're almost done with the show, and it really is unfortunate. <laughs> um, but I'm curious about this because we have Yellow Jacket, so are we going to see Hank? again or is it scott because scott is now ant-man which it's crazy we got him as ant-man but we haven't seen him since so i'm not really sure what that means or what that entails so uh yeah guys let's get into now let's get into this episode and see what they do i'm hoping there's some sort of connection to the last episode of course with ultron and vision and everything i don't think vision's truly dead by the way but we'll have to wait and see but here we go guys episode 18 yellow jacket let's get into it That's a way to say, I don't want you here. Yeah, that fucking glare. Here. Sorry. What's this? Hank, I was glad to get your call, but to be honest, this is a disaster waiting to happen. It's the last time you slept or ate anything besides pizza. I mean, pizza's they good, but not, not always good. That's when I'm not there to keep an eye on things that can go wrong. Easy, Hank. Mm. Sit down the very dangerous science thingy and talk to him. I mean, he's definitely not all there. He's not dead. I don't believe he's dead. I just feel like something's up. That's really frustrating. Oh, they think he's dead? Oh, fuck. They think he's dead. Okay. Vision's there. Interesting. Spider Man. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, I was like, who's this? Shield agents found it in the wreckage of the lab. A dead... Heather, you up for a quiet hunt? What about me? Jan, maybe it's too soon. You'll get your chance, I promise, but... I'll give you whatever you want. Just let me go. That's him, right? Yellow Jacket? Mm. Interesting they can scan. Going to scan him. He's, he's running. Not so fast. <laughs> oh. Maybe it'll help you remember to stay out of my way. Wait. You think you can get away from me? Exactly. Okay, so why is she not following him? Ooh. You don't know anything about him. I knew enough to get rid of the guy. What? <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't have said that. Wait, does she think that's Hank? That's not Hank. Who is Yellow Jacket? Hank was a pacifist. Yeah. This thug can't possibly be the man we knew. You think I'm crazy too? No. Oh. Thinks you're crazy. We'd all like to believe Hank isn't gone. But look at the evidence. But Jack. to be Yellow Jacket is kind of crazy. Wow. I think he's shrinking them. I don't think he's killing them. You know what I'm saying? I think he's shrinking them. I'm not going to beg for mercy. You wouldn't get any. Mm. 
the music. Yeah, you would think, Jesus, the massive like lightning that was, you would think that, you know, Thor could take him out. I like how they're showing a lot more of Thor's power, like, like that. That's awesome. He figured it. He figured it out. That's what I did do. He's gonna do that. He did. You should have just left me alone. I had it under control. It's Hank. No, you didn't. You never did. You're Hank Pym. Dude, it is fucking Hank. Hank Pym is dead. Is he? That's not good. I'm gonna have to save all the villains too. Can't be just them. It's your choice. Find us and we're finished. Or we work together to get out of this mess. Seven society. Attack! Of course. Oh, that was a hard hit. He's a big dude. Yeah, your lightning's nothing compared to his. Go snap out of it now. Now he's back to normal. Oh my god. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Jesus. If we can relay my biosignature from Panther Scan through your chest reactor, it'll explode like a wave motion field and transpose us out of here. Yeah, sure. Why didn't I think of that? Sure, yeah. The show ends. <laughs> the show ends at this point. The show's over. <laughs> that would suck. We'll have to take it back down. You should leave it. Ant Man is gone. That's the past. Well, Scott has the costume. I'm wanting you to be someone you weren't instead of appreciating who you were. I'm asking now. Take Hank back. We need him. I need him. Bet I bag more mole people than you do, Stark. So no official confirmation if he's going to be on the team or not. Okay. There you have it, guys. Apologies for the glare. Yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to fix that the whole episode. It was a whole nightmare. So if you on Patreon, apologies for the glare. It's really unfortunate. I, I, I trust me. I would not record it normally during this time, but it is what it is. Episode, pretty damn good. Um, I like how it started off with Hank, like, just back. But he's a little crazy. And it was uh, Wasp and uh, Iron Man, of course, Tony. And, um, and they show up there. And it's a whole thing to where he's clearly not all there. Clearly. <laughs> like, he's a little bit hectic. He's talking a lot. He's like, I'll be the warden of this new prison that I'm building. And I should have thought about it more once we saw Yellow Jacket, but I'll get to that in a second. But he clearly hadn't showered, all that kind of stuff, and um, clearly needed sleep. So I think what was interesting is that they show up. He's there to kind of tell Tony about this new person. He's like, well, we don't need this right now. We just don't, we don't need it. There's no reason to. And so they leave. And then the explosion, they think he's dead. I think it's interesting. So he faked his death, essentially, and um, got rid of all of that and became this new persona, Yellow Jacket. Um, do you remember from the comics that was a thing? I don't remember. Remember Yellow Jacket from the MCU was not Hank Pym. Um, but... I think it was interesting that they did this, regardless if it's been in the comics or not. Maybe it was in the comics at one point. He transformed into this new character. I'm not really sure, but um, I think it was interesting nonetheless because he became something he could not become. Like, Hank Pym to him is dead, even though he's Hank Pym. Because Hank was a pacifist, and they tied into Service Society stuff. Because in the previously on, we had him stopping the Avengers and the Service Society from fighting, and... They bring that into the mix a little bit later with him going out of the Serpent Society specifically um, to get the job done, essentially, for this new prison. And so 
they think he's dead. They have all these characters show up. Spider-Man's there, Fantastic Four. Vision was there, along with, of course, a lot of other characters. Nick Fury, who's low profile. And he's the one who said, here, S.H.I.E.L.D. agents found this. And, uh, yeah, it was murder. So we have that memorial thing. We have this nice statue for him. And nice piece from Tony, that Pepper Row, which we have not seen Pepper hardly ever on this show. It's been a long time since we've seen Pepper. I think, did we did we see her in the second episode of season two? I think it was the second episode of uh, season two. So, uh, to me, that's like forever ago. But, um, and then they have a little speech. Like I said, Tony, but there's a little talking back and forth between the characters about Hank. And then they find out about the Serpent Society. So they go after and they come across Yellow Jacket. Now, I did not even think of the possibility of, the, of Hank and Yellow Jacket being one of the same. It never just clicked in my head like, oh, this makes sense. It didn't click. But then she's like, wait a minute. And she tells the team, she's like, I think this is Hank. It's like, let's look at the facts. The suits from Ant Man and Yellow Jacket are completely different in terms of. Um, uh, signatures or whatever and there's like a height difference or whatever a couple other things that just didn't add up so okay the voice was definitely different but the voice is kind of his but I was like okay this is the villain this is a uh, Ant-Man villain and whenever he's shooting his gun I'm thinking he's sending them to the microverse or something or he sent the Ant-Man verse I think it's called the microverse but I'm um, sending them somewhere they're not dying because once he shot the hammer which, it's Mjolnir. Okay, no, he did not d just erase it out of existence. Then he shot Thor. I feel bad for Thor because Thor was also erased. Not really, but he was gone because Ultron did it to him, and they thought Ult they, and they thought Thor was killed by Ultron. So they did it to Thor again because I mean he's the strongest Avenger technically. Because I mean, <laughs> all that like he was doing lightning and shit. It was ridiculously crazy how much energy he was using in terms of the lightning and everything and using the hammer. And I like how you had Yellow Jacket Hank saying, you know, next he's going to boast about the hammer. He's like, face the power of Mjolnir or whatever. It's like, ah, he knew it was coming. But then they all get stuck in there because Tony fires a blast. It reveals, of course, it's Hank. He's like, I'm not Hank. They all get transformed into the prison. This is where it got really interesting. I think, I think that... Hank was on the right path in terms of this type of prison because the one he built before, the Ark or whatever, whatever it's called, the one we saw early on in the show in season one, it was, the concept was good. Just didn't, I don't think the execution was right. Now, I mean, he should not have been the warden under the state of mind he was in, but I think he had the right idea, but he captured the Serpent Society, but now they're all stuck there. He was never meant to be there, I don't think. And so it started to implode on itself. Because it was unstable at that at that at that um, size or whatever, so of course Serpent Society. And I think it was a it was a, it was a coin toss because we've we've had instances in the past where the villains and the and the heroes were team up for a reason, like in when we had uh, original the original actual Cap break out of the scroll, um, you know, holding on that spaceship out in the middle of fucking nowhere with villains and other heroes, people who were taken that were good and evil. And they all work together to get off of the, the the ship, the holding ship by the scrolls, to get back to Earth. So in this, it was a, it was really a coin toss: Are the Serpent Society going to team up and help get out, or are they going to be asses and fight? And they fought. Of course they did. So they got their asses handed to them. They're not that great. I mean, some of them are pretty interesting in terms of uh, character, but I just feel like overall they're not really that big of a threat. But in terms of the connection to Hank and everything that happened before, like in season one, where he really was understanding he's a pacifist and he doesn't want to do this anymore. I think it was season one when all this happened. So it was in the previously on. He did not want to do this. So it makes sense that you bring those characters back in because those are the ones that I think really made him so angry to the point. Yeah, I remember because I think he fought back because they hurt Wasp. So he really got angry. So... I, I, I previously on as, as well, they have like a little bit of a, a hornet a, or a yellow jacket or whatever. I'm like, mm, a little, little tie in maybe we'll see. And of course it was, um, I think it was a yellow jacket, but, uh, so they, he figures it out. Of course he breaks, but not enough to not become yellow jacket. Like he's not done being yellow jacket. He's like, keep the statue up, but he breaks and finally embraces wasp and goes, Oh, I miss you. 
And then if then he had this really crazy thing of like, okay, I need I need to uh, use the ID card where you scan me, and then we'll plug this into Tony. You know, and stuff. There's an explosion. I'm like, this might kill you. <laughs> like Panther's like, this might kill you. Thanks for telling me now, but I mean, you know, it is, I'm, 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 this might hurt a lot. Thanks for telling me now, but like, you know, this may kill you, Tony. Well, if he doesn't try, we're all gonna die. Like, you all are going to die. So thankfully it worked. Thankfully it worked. My God. <laughs> but um. Tony did not, did not want him on the team. And it makes sense because I don't I don't think he would fit on the team. Don't think it would be good for the team if he was to be on the team because of how he is. But, yeah. So, overall, pretty good episode. Um, maybe we'll see him come back. I mean, he seems like he's still around. But I don't know. Maybe Tony ends up, ends up not going to want him. But, anyways, uh, we'll see. We'll see about that. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. I'm curious to know what you think, guys. What you guys think of this episode? What you think of the reveal of Hank actually being Yellow Jacket? Whatever thoughts you have, let me know in the comment section below, guys. Talk to you guys soon.